Bro honey, today's tutorial is going to be a glowing moss sticker tutorial. We're gonna be banking a window with a curtain. I just think it's really cute to use these with the outdoor backgrounds on your interiors. And they're a lot of fun to use. They've really stepped up my interior game. As you all know, I am not an interiors type person. And this has really helped me decorate my interiors and fill them out. So the first thing we're gonna do is make the window border. And then what I did was I just made a curtain outline shape. Now, when I did the wavy line on top, what that's going to indicate to me is what parts are like away from the window and, and the parts that are bending in toward the window. I'm obviously, I'm opening the curtain so that you can see the background that I chose on the outside or on the inside of it, you can see through that. So we're gonna use clear pixels next to the curtain and just have the window frame. And then for the curtain, we're going to make it textured like it's kind of wavy. And I'm using this blue color and the blue color kind of matches like an out outdoor, right? It gives that reflection of the blue like it would be almost opaque or see-through. So we wanna give the illusion that you can see through the curtain just kind of a little bit. So I wanted to use that nice little blue and then the white where there's wood because the wood would cast kind of a shadow or like you would be able to see the line of the, of the wooden window through the curtain. So that's what I'm doing right there. Obviously I'm using the darker colors, the darker hues where it's going to be like towards the window or closest to the window and the lighter colors where it pulls away from the window to reflect the light that would be coming from the interior. There's always like a little bit of lighting on your interior and that would be the reflection of the light and how it's hitting the window. We're just gonna finish off the frame and we're gonna go to the next one. So the next one is just gonna be like the first one. I'm not making the curtains exactly symmetrical and the reason for that is because I want it to look natural. I want it to look like it's really um, someone just pulled the curtains apart and maybe weren't paying attention so closely to whether or not they were gonna be close together. Now you can make this code as a four piece code and use the four corners, or you can do it like I did and use the nine piece code. That way you have like the windows and the tops and bottoms with the empty that don't have the curtain or an in between if you would like to make a larger window. I figured I would show you both and then you can choose how many of the pieces you would choose to make and how many you have room for in your own custom code slots because we all know how hard it is to keep those custom code slots. So the window is pulled a little bit back more on this side. I just wanted it to be a little more of the outside showing in. And then we're gonna move on to the bottom. So the bottom is going to be much the same, except the wavy part is going to correlate to the top curtain. So make sure you pay attention to the top curtain and what you did as far as pull the curtain pulling away and being close to the window. Also make sure that it lines up with the top and that the shading is going to be uh, cohesive with the bottom. So make sure that it's going to blend. I like to start with the same color on top as I ended with in the piece that's going to fit directly above it to make sure that they're going to go together. And that is really important to me. We are gonna do a middle piece if you would want to make a longer curtain, and that will show you how to connect the top and the bottom and to kind of have it fitting. So I'm gonna make this, it's a very light and drapey kind of cur curtain that I'm using. So I'm making the code accordingly. I want it to be very flowy and pretty, like almost like a, a sheer chiffon kind of curtain situation just so I want to give it that nice little texture. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Obviously the bottom of the curtain is going to go all the way up to the very top of the code because it, that's where it's going to connect with the other one. And then we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to copy the top in a way 
We're not gonna make it exactly the same, but we're gonna make sure that the curtain, you know how curtains, when they bend and they come up from the window, like all of those ripples, we're gonna make sure they match the top ripples because they don't generally change from up to down. They really don't. So we wanna make sure that we're reflecting that we're keeping it uh, the same or similar across the top and bottom. Sometimes they come out a little bit more towards the bottom or uh, on top or they go closer to the window on the bottom and that is okay if you want to add that kind of subtle variation but make sure it's not too jarring and it's not uh, like a crazy transition so I'm showing you now where I placed it on the ground in the four spaces so we're gonna move and we're gonna try and do this and I'm gonna show you what it would look like as a middle piece and what I did was I took the bottom because that's the easiest way to do it you take the bottom and then you kind of just connect it so that you want the top and the bottom of the code to match each other but you want it to be able to match with the very top where it left off on the top window piece so you want to make sure that it still fits with the top window piece and then it ends off where you started in the bottom window piece so for that reason i just repeat this bottom piece and I continue it off on the bottom so that it it ends up being very cohesive that way and it doesn't look like it's uh, crazy or jarring. So I copy from the top of this code, I copy it a little bit on the bottom so that they kind of go will go together when you line them up against a window. So it will be, you'll be able to put an infinite number of those in a row and it will still fit. And that's always very important when it comes to this. And now here, we're just gonna make the blank windows. We're gonna take off the curtain and we're just gonna do the top window pane and the bottom window pane. And the center one is gonna be very, very simple. Now the top and bottom on these are almost, they're not really necessary. Um, but they're nice to have if you want to use a blank window. But if you're not going to use it in a line with the curtain piece, then you don't necessarily need the, the window panes on the top and bottom. You can just use the center piece that I'm making right now if you're just going to do it off to the side, which I'm also going to show you in a few minutes. I'm going to build out a room using this code so that you can see what I'm talking about. But there you go. So this was the only outdoor um, wallpaper that I had. So I had to work with what I had. So we're gonna build out this room right here and I'm gonna show you how I use these custom codes. I don't always use them exactly the same, but you know, it does help to, to see it. So there we have the top and the bottom and this is what we're doing with it. We're just gonna put the bottom window panes along the bottom and I'm just putting out all of the stickers because when they're in storage, you can't see what's what. Sometimes it's easier to do this from your pockets and to line them all up on your in your pockets so you know which piece is what, but I didn't do that. So we're, we're working with what we did and I'm just going to line this up all the way from top to bottom and you'll see the way they line up right here and they look really nice, right? So I'm loving the way that looks. I'm gonna add some simple decor just to build this room out because why not give you a little speed build? This is in my forever home on Honeyland. So this is this build is actually on my island. The dream address is active. So you're more than welcome to go and visit the dream address and see how I put these things together and how I'm, my custom codes are everywhere on that island. And you can actually just get a look at everything and how, how I make my custom codes work. I wanted that little desk to be open. I just love the way it looks like that. But this is gonna be a very simple back room and it's just a little seating room. So here we have the beautiful Aurora Borealis in the background and we are done. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I really loved making it. If you make it yourself, be sure to share it in the Discord. The pixels will actually be in a document that I'll link in the description along with the color palette. Have an amazing day or night wherever you are. I know you can be anywhere on the internet and you chose to hang out with me and I'm so honored you did. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.